In this video, I want to show you how to multitask, how to open multiple apps at the same time on your iPad 11 with the A16 chip. So step number one is to open any app you want to use. Let's say I want uh, this Safari browser. So you're going to open the first app. Then you're going to notice on the top of your screen, okay, right over here, if you're holding the iPad the other way, it will be right there. There's three dots. Simply press once on that three dots and you're going to have multiple options. Full screen, the way it is right now. Split view, which means that the screen will be split in two. And finally, you're going to have slide over, which means that you will have a app open, but it will not take half of the screen. It will be quite on a small uh, scale. I will show you how it looks. So let's start with split view. If I tap over here, it will ask me to open the second app. I want to use at the same time. So let me browse around. Um, I decided that I want the weather app. So I'll tap on it. And now I have two apps open at the same time. As you see in the middle over here, there's a tiny line. You'll be able to drag one of the app so it takes more space. Let's say I want the weather app to take more space. I'll, I can drag it Okay, more on this way and it will stay. Or if I want Safari to take more space and the weather app to be more on the, the side, well, I can also do this. So that's the first way on how you can multitask. And as you see, I can use both apps at the same exact time. Well, once you're done with this, you can click the three dots and go back to full screen. It will not close the second app. It will still be open in the background, but the app number one will take the full screen. Now, if I tap over here and select slide over, I'll have to select my other app again. Let's say it's the weather app. And the weather app will be the one in full screen while the Safari app that was open previously will be open, but taking less space. And I can move this around as you see. I can put it there. I can put it anywhere I want. I mean, on the side, which... So, it's just floating around. So depending if, let's say over here, I want to see what's behind there, I can move it. It's a bit easier in certain way, depending again, what you're trying to do. Again, once you're ready, press the three dots. You can press close to close the app that is open or select full screen. So it takes the whole screen. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.